Now guys, do you like a watch with an incredible dial, lovely compact proportions, and it's still 200 meter dive water resistant and has great build quality. Do you like all those things? Well, you're in the right place because I've got the watch here to share with you. Here it is, a watch by Reverie. Look at that dial, guilloche dial, but it's got lots of lovely intricate details, which I've just got to share with you. But do they all marry together to make an overall stunning watch? Are there any flaws? Is this a perfect watch you can splash out on that you've never heard of before? We're going to cover that in today's video. You know what, I really want to go to Singapore because Singapore is the hotbed for micro brands and small watch makers out there. There's so many. I mean, if you've seen me before, you know I've reviewed lots of watches from Singapore. To name a few with Phoebus, Rodrick, RZE, Boulder. Oh, the list goes on. Started in 2014. Their watches, all of them are limited edition. They don't do reissues and things like that from what I understand. This dive watch, what's special about it is there's only 125 for each colorway. And this is the warm gray. You do get moss green, navy blue, and burgundy. And that's one of the USPs, first of all, is limited edition. Next one is these guilloche dials. The main thing that I'm drawn in by is that the stunning depth and texture you get with this dial. That's the thing that draws you in and I think sells this as a unique watch, definitely for me. But there's some other little nice touches about this watch which we're going to walk through now with you because you can't just worry about the price and the stats and specs because when you get down to the nitty gritty of a watch, that's when you get to understand more what you're getting for your money. You saw on the stats and specs, the thing I do like are these Myota movements. This 9000 series, the 9039, it's got no date complication it's very simple it's got a gorgeous uh Saigeha, i think is how you say it, a pattern on there which is it's actually a japanese thing it's not from singapore that pattern is very popular in the modding culture and in art it's a symbolic for waves and power and nature and things like that and they've also put it on the strap which is an alternate thing you can swap it out for it's got quick release as well on here so you got it on the bottom of the strap which is nice and that's the next thing i want to talk about really is their next usp for this dive watch is is proportions 40 mil case, 43 lug to lug, which is very short. It's only 12 mil high, and that is really slim. And that's good that they've utilized the, the opportunity that this slim movement offers by making the watch slim as well. And that's a key thing to make this watch so beautifully wearable. This size, it's uh, people worry, oh, I've got a big wrist. It's not going to look good on me. That's fair enough. But it's nice to have a dive watch, which actually caters for smaller wrists as well and medium. This isn't a tiny watch, but it wears so beautifully. It's light and comfortable. I've worn this at work and you barely notice it. It's not like a lot of dive watches can be. A bit top heavy and wobble about a bit. This doesn't. It blends in. It still has 200 meters water resist, aided obviously by a screw down case back and this very easy to undo knurled crown, which is very nice indeed. I do like that. And it bites immediately, screws down, catches very nicely. These are all elements that show build quality. Now this is a GMT or dual time bezel, which is nice. You can get it also which for a bit more or a lot more, I should say, which is a bit of a negative I will discuss uh, later on. But this is the dual time bezel. So you can set a different time zone basically, which is very smart, very clever. It's actually very practical. If you're not going to use this diving, having it as a second time zone is good. And you can use it for timing still because you have a loomed triangle at the 12. While we're talking about loom actually while I'm here, it's actually very good. You've got BGW9 in the hands and C3 on the markers. It lasts as you would expect for a dive watch. It's really well applied and yeah, it's great. It's exactly what you'd expect for a dive watch, but it definitely lasts a lot better and is a lot stronger on the hands, which is actually what you want. Bezel feel, 120 click, pointless on a dual time bezel but still nice if you're going to be fiddling with it is really really nice action very light crisp you feel every click and it lines up perfectly the only sort of cheaping out thing if you will would be the, on this watch is the push pins but everything else is great class while we're here let's have a look at that this has got a fantastic quick adjust like glide lock system super smooth it really easy and light uh, to click back in the clasp itself is very much what you would see on an homage of a rolex or a rolex itself but it may be a bit of a cop out, but to be honest with you, it works really well. It's been really well made and it makes the watch easy to get comfortable. And when you want to swap this out for a different strap, 
Uh, you can do that really easily because it has quick release spring bars on here, which is very nice indeed for an easy swap out. If you don't want to get this in the water and you want to make it a bit more of a smart casual watch, you can swap it out for different straps. And I'll show you that later on as well. Now, I alluded earlier on to something that's a bit of a negative, and that is the price on this bad boy. Bear this in mind, though, it is a very well-made watch with a fantastic specification, and it's limited edition to only 125 of each of these. It's 390 US dollars. I think that is still great value for money when you consider the exclusivity of the limited edition aspect and you have lovely little unique selling points such as this gorgeous gear shade dial, decorated rotor, the fit and finish is really good all round. really like this very neat compact case and uh, brushed everywhere apart from this lovely bit of a chamfer here on the bit between the top of the watch and the mid case and that really helps break up all this consistent brushing you get everywhere. I went for the warm grey dial because I thought it looks awesome with everything brushed, including the dial. And you've got this lovely satin in a rehort chapter ring here. Then you've got the gorgeous middle part, which is the guilloche pattern. And then you've got this circular brushing where the markers are. Another nice little detail. Look at the second hand, the tip of it. That's loomed as well. How the length of the loomed part is perfectly the same length as that lovely brushed ring going around the markers it looks like a record what works so well with this warm gray is this soft orange you get here as well with a lovely bit of orange text there saying how much water resistance this has and i just think it's a lovely little tiny splash of color just to lift the watch up a little bit you've got the lovely black numbers as well that are very easy to read and contrast lovely against the bright silver brushed effect there really nice clever details so downsides really i mean the price is a little bit steep but i would say if you just fall in love with this watch, it's an amount of money you can find to really enjoy this stunning watch and enjoy it every day. But the thing that maybe let it down as an everyday wear piece is I would have liked potentially, this is a little bit of a spot there between the index at six and this text here to have a date window. I think that would have been nice to have had this as an everyday wear watch, which it definitely is because it's so versatile to have a date complication in there. I love these hands. They're the right lengths and just gorgeous. They look like ninja throwing stars. Uh, very nice, very clear and easy to read. Just what you want on a dive watch, but they are very attractive. So that is just examples of the attention to detail, like the polished hands contrasting against that brush dial, the gear shea as well. Really solid loom in those hands as well. Contrasting loom colours as well with the markers in the hands is interesting as well. And it's so compact for a 200 meter dive watch. That is so good. And I think it's a really, as soon as I saw pictures of this, I was like, wow, that is beautiful. And the fact that dimensions are so good and it wears so beautifully, it's a real winner but if you don't like the bracelet and you don't like the standard black strap which i'm going to show you here it's okay the quality of the rubber is not like amazing i'm going to show you just a couple of other options which i sell in my store now it's super easy to change out i'll just show you here that just give you an idea you just even with gloves on you can just remove the pin there let's try with this one first this is the tropic waffle hybrid this is a combination of i'd say a waffle and a tropic strap because you've got this diamond texture on here and the lo lovely breathable holes and it's nice and slim as well. And look, it's the right thickness to align with the design and thickness of the mid case. Super comfortable, really easy to swap out and you can get this wet, no problems. And it's a good quality grade of rubber. FKM is the bee's knees. This is known as Pueblo Italian Veg Tan Leather. This most premium strap I sell in the store. Do check out the store. It's in a link to that store is in the description. I do sell lots of different straps and especially about this underneath piece here is it's water resistant it's got a special resistance to water very nice and durable and great so you don't get all sweaty and uncomfortable on hot days as well but the gorgeous pueblo italian leather from the tuscany region in italy is a premium quality very neat stitching comes with quick release spring bars the length is spot on for most watches and i currently only sell this in 20 mil lug width so lovely goes really nicely working with that orange got this in black and dark brown as well this is the tan it is such a stunning strap i thought i'd show you one more for luck and this is another brand new release this is a new version of the very classic tropic it's more of a retro tropic or a rally tropic very strong taper on the strap very nice leathery texture but this is fkm rubber really goes well and i think even though this is a contemporary looking watch this design, I think, just works beautifully. Again, right amount of length, two keeps, nice brushed hardware on here. Works even better on this watch because you've got a brushed finish on the case of the watch. I love it. So would I buy this watch? Yes. Why? Well, I've said that in the video already, but just to summarise, I just really like the dial, the build quality, the specification. It looks stunning. It wears really well. And what more could you ask for? So I would buy one of these. And the question is, would you? Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.